Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at SSD. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to upgrade from a mechanical drive to an SSD drive. Now, with most notebooks, you have a mechanical drive on board, and in most cases, you can upgrade to an SSD drive. Now, before you buy an SSD drive, you'll want to check what the interface is on your old drive. You can often find this out on the spec sheet for your notebook computer, or you can find out by going inside and pulling the drive out. If it has the pins, or if it says PATA, P-A-T-A, or IDE, it's the old school drive. If you have a serial ATA drive, or SATA, or it has the edge connector, then you have one of the newer drives. Now, most of the new SSD drives will come with SATA connections, although you do have old PATA style or IDE connections on SSD as well, if you want to get one of these. Now, before you just rip out your old drive and replace it with your new drive, you'll probably want to back it up or copy the information from your old drive straight over to your new drive. Now, you can back it up to an external hard drive and then copy it over again if you want, or if you want to get an external drive reader, like this dock here right here, which you can put your old drive into, or your new drive, and then just copy from one to the other. Or you can get a kit like this one from iMation, which is an enclosure that you get that has the new drive inside it, copy the information to this, and then swap the drives out, and then you can use your old drive as an external drive using this enclosure. Now you'll need a bit of software to do this. You'll need something like SuperDuper for the Mac or a Cronus TrueImage for the PC. Often that comes with a kit like this or you can download it separately. You can see this whole process in greater detail in the How to Upgrade Your Hard Drive series, also here on Butterscotch.com. Now once you're done backing up or creating a clone of your old drive, you want to power down your notebook. You want to open up the place where the drive lives, remove all the screws, swap the position of your old drive and your new drive, Make sure to reverse any steps that you needed to get that old drive out. And then seal it back up. If you cloned your old drive to the new drive, you should be ready to just boot up your PC and be ready to go. If not, you'll have to do a setup process on the new machine with your operating system of choice and then copy the old data back over. Once you've upgraded the old drive to your new SSD drive, your system should boot faster, should run faster, and it should run cooler to boot. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to upgrade your MacBook Air. We'll also show you external drives and we'll explain what SSD is. For more information on this and the other parts in the series, you can go over to the show notes at butterscotch.com.